November 17th was one of the most feared terrorist cells in Europe during its existence, beginning in December of 1975 with the assassination of CIA Station Chief Richard Welch and ending with the failed bombing attempt in June of 2002, November 17th stayed in operation for 27 years. Their attacks ranged from bombings and assassinations to embarrassing Greek police by tying a number of their officers up and taking their weapons and ammunition, all without firing a single shot. What is most astounding and gives this group so much infamy is the fact that although it is responsible for the deaths of 23 people and over 100 attacks, November 17th was never penetrated by authorities and not a single arrest had ever been made until 2002. How were they able to do this? Was it simply because the group stayed small and everyone was, for the most part, related? That is definitely a factor, but it is not the only one. Greek citizens have a strong sense of nationalism and most believed in what November 17th was doing and trying to accomplish. In a poll taken, only 7% of Greek citizens supported a U.S. campaign against terrorism and only one in every 15 people said that if they knew someone in November 17th, they would hand them over to authorities. The Greek police have also been blamed for their incompetency when it came to lack of arrests for attacks and murders at the hands of November 17th. Also, most people have never even heard of November 17th. Unlike Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda, November 17th limited their attacks to their own soil and targeting individuals, not groups of people, so they didn't get much news coverage. That is, until 2002.